Hi! Happy Friday, 20th of March. <laughs> and it is yeah, five to one. This is what 12 hours of sleep looks like. I can't believe I had 12 hours of sleep um, last night. I don't know if my fringe would be better that way or that way. I don't know. Um, so yes, 12 hours of sleep. I went to bed about 20 to 7. I woke up about 20 past 7 this morning, so obviously needed it. So yes. Um, I've done a bit of knitting this morning. Um, I'll perhaps show you that later. It's not great. I worked on my socks. It's not, it's not massive, about halfway now on the cuff of my sock. And I put some washing out. Yay! That always makes me feel happy yeah. outside. Um, and I'm just about to go down and mm, do the potting shed of doom. So I thought what I'll do is I'll make my lunch, I'll go down there, eat my lunch and then I'll, hopefully that will spur me on. And I've been editing, that's what I've been doing, editing yesterday's um, vlog. So that's going to go up and it'll be later this afternoon. So by the time you see this, hopefully you'll have watched it or maybe not. <laughs> I, I was I had a bit of a moany day yesterday. I just don't think that really do it feel myself and um to top it all that my um we didn't have the bunny and my daughter wasn't very well and i don't think that she was looked after very well at the uh, surgery so yes it doesn't matter how old they get if you feel that nobody's looking after them as you would look after them you still get one yeah i think that was a bit cross really yeah i was <laughs> so there we are um i was talking to you about salads yeah i normally do breakfast and lunch it's not every day. Um, and then Mr. Jacks does the evening meal. So that's what I've made today. Can you see? Perhaps I'll um, give you a visual close up. Bear with me. So that is my pot of loveliness. That's the kind of salad that I like. So we've got, oh yeah, tomato, cucumber, excuse a fork. We've got some peanuts, some salad leaves, grated carrot, and hummus instead of mayonnaise, which is better for you. So yes, and we've got some, ha we've got some ham. Sliced ham. So, hopefully that will go down well. And I've got my cucumber water. So I've had one cup of tea so far this morning and a glass of water, which probably think that's still not enough fluids. So, yeah, so I've spoken to the doctor this morning and um, I'm going for some blood tests next week. Um, yeah, he was really lovely. This thing that I've got on my leg, I said to him, I've been on the internet, I said, I've had a look, I'm just really worried. Um, I told him what I thought it was and he said, no, he said, I don't think he is like at all. Um, so he said, I think it's more like a fungal infection. And so, yeah, sorry if you're eating. <laughs> so he said, I think you just need different cream. And um, we'll get that, but we need to, yeah, need to look at the other two things. I'm just wondering if I am, you know, type 2 diabetic or on the border. I'd be really surprised if I'm on the border. I said to him, just been rubbish. I've been waiting for my husband. He's type 2, just everything he should do. I said, but now I said, I just need to do it. I said, plus I've started losing weight. I said, um, yeah, well, I've given up chocolate for Lent. I can't see why I've lost you know, four or five pounds just like that, unless I was eating more chocolate than what I realised. Um, but you said this stiffness, yeah, so that's one of, one of the biggest reasons I don't exercise. I don't, I don't even move very much. So, um, yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? You speak to somebody and um, they just get you. So he was lovely. And then he said, can we, can we talk about the menopause? <laughs> I said, mm, go on then. <laughs> So, yeah, so I think I'm going to have a bit of a MOT over the uh, next couple of weeks. So, yeah, and I know that's not crafty related, but it is. It's related in your mental health, isn't it? And um, while I don't think I've got anything that's life threatening, it's enough to worry me. And to, yeah, I said to him, can I have a bit of a confessional? <laughs> he started laughing at me. So, what am I going to do? I go. But he was lovely. He was lovely. So, I packed my, yeah, packed my lunch and I'm off. So, yes, I feel so much better today. I feel uplifted. <laughs> I've got my Gangster Girl. Yes, my Gangster Girl t-shirt on today. There's no messing with me. 
today. And I'm sorry if anybody's watching me that is a doctor's receptionist, I don't mean any offence whatsoever. Um, I've got to an age where I think, if I think I need to do something or not do it, then I'm either going to do it or not do it. So yeah, so I don't mean any, any offence to anybody. So it turns out the cream that I was given in the first place is the wrong cream. I need something else. And if he'd have seen me, yeah, if he'd have seen me, he would have known it. But he was, it, this was a different, this was a doctor, not a, oh, what are they called, clinic, clinicians? The clinician I spoke to was lovely. But yeah, so there we are. That's that. Let's go and get some sunshine. Oh, I better take another antihistamine and help clear this. Everybody's cutting the grass. So hopefully they've all stopped now. <laughs> right, see you later. Hello, I'm down in the greenhouse. Well, not in the greenhouse. We've got a bench between them so we can sit here, which is really lovely, really lovely. So I brought Mr. Jax's um, lunch down. He was really pleased to see that, even more pleased. Well, that it was a healthy lunch, which I can't believe it. It's like, <laughs> is it my husband? Oh, can you hear that dog barking? So yeah, so he's uh, got his machine out, got his digger out, and um, he's done the first cut, yay! <laughs> <laughs> we could just do with um, it's Alan Titchmarsh. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, just Alan Titchmarsh. Um, oh, they used to do a garden program. I can't remember what it's called, but they would come in and um, do your garden like over a weekend or whatever. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But I'll just be happy with um, yeah, an area of turn turned over, um, turned over mud, mud. Yes. So meet him on lunch. Oh my word, it is lovely. It is lovely. So yeah, this is definitely the way to um, go forward. Mr. Jax is like a huge like mayonnaise fan. I never even used to have mayonnaise before he moved in. Um, so he can't have a salad without having mayonnaise, but I put the hummus in. I had all my diabetic um, books out. I'm just looking for things, so that's supposed to be different. So I just used one teaspoon of, heaped teaspoon of hummus, and then I put some, um, one teaspoon of nuts in and he's like woofed it down I can't cannot believe it so it's not a daily breakfast this morning which is a bad thing I had a banana but yes so I'm just gonna sit here finish my salad and then yeah onto the potting shed of doom I'll need to do my bit he's doing his bit so yeah teamwork I told him about the doctor so he's really happy so um, yeah <laughs> I hope this is okay doing this kind of vlog out in the garden but this is what we're what we're doing at the moment this is yeah this is going to be our life and it'll be good good for us and my vision is we've got a swing over over there is that you know we're in and out the potting shed the boys come over here we the dogs are out we're in the fresh air we're doing something growing stuff we introduce the boys to that especially Fred you know with his eating and um which we have made a huge pro progress the other week he would only eat four peas and it was a little bit of a battle if I'm to be honest but I said to him, he'd only eat two and I said Grandma wants you to eat four because you're four and he gradually agreed but and yes um, when he was here on Tuesday it wasn't quite um, a dessert spoon but that's big progress I think it must have been at least 16 so yes so yeah I'm all excited and the dogs are excited yeah you want my lunch don't you you're not having it no. do you want to say hello to them do you want to say hello to everybody come on where are they oh. Where are you, Barney? Let me stand up. You're waiting for my lunch. You are, aren't you? And you, Bailey. What's your dad doing? Is he busy? Yep, he is. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Max is over, Barney. You can see the tail there's Mr. Jacks. Yeah, he's happy. Get off, you cheeky monkey. <gasps> did you lick that? Barney, did you lick that? Yeah, I've got no idea we've been sticking your mouth, have I? So I won't be, yeah, it's just the lid, so don't worry. So I'll finish my salad. And Mr. Jackson has got his uh, machinery out, so he's quite happy. All right, I'll speak to you later. Bye. Oh, now to tackle the potting shed of doom. Yep, you need to look in there, Bailey. What's in there? I know. Right, okay. I need to get that sorted. What do you think, Barney? Hey, eh? what do you think? Hey, Bobby Brown. Oh, it's the 
it's her birthday's on Monday so they will be eight eight mum and dad mum will be ten the end of this year and um, Max will be nine in June so yeah so we have to decide what we're going to do for them for their birthday hmm. right I'm going to get on with this of course I won't do it oh right okay done the first bit yay <laughs> right have a look it's clear <laughs> it's clear the cotton shed is clear everything is outside so <laughs> yeah clear in there but all the mess is there and down the side oh, but that's good that's good at least I've done there but uh, yeah I'm left with um, well I suppose mud compost and um, cobwebs I couldn't be uh, Miss Havisham I live amongst all the cobwebs to hear the dogs barking so we're down by the gate so yeah Bob's driving us nuts because every time um, well like I say every time someone walks past we haven't got a path outside our house because we're in the country on the lane it's on the other side there's not that many so we might have to put something up there so that you can't if you can't see it that would be it oh it's just lovely Feel that, yeah, being oh, little, I'm just scooting. <laughs> oh, my life, oh, my life. Um, yeah, just been outside, it's just lovely, it makes your heart sing. And I really don't know what this blossom is, but I just keep looking at it and it makes me smile all the time. Let me show you. Yeah, it's kind of just sprung up, really. Mr. Jack's made me that box. Obviously, a good couple of years since we've been down here, so yeah, um, to grow flowers in. So I think we're going to have to pull it out. Um, so yes, I don't know. And then I oh, just realised I haven't even been in here. Ooh, what's in here? Oh my words! I don't know. Oh, more cobwebs. Lovely, lovely. Oh, that's the rotavator. Right. Okay. So at least I found the rotavator and the spade. Oh, I've got a couple of um, deck chairs, but I'm not touching those because I've got cobwebs on. Okay. And we did have a kettle at one time down here. We've put a um, solar panel up. Oh, I don't know. I'm such a spoilt um, madam at times. Like, oh, I need a cup of tea if I'm gardening. Do I go up to the house? <laughs> Always back. Yeah, it's a bit more of a bit more of a job than what I thought. It's not going to be done in a day. I mean, there's this guy's machinery. But he's willing. Yay. I'll see you a bit later. Hello, I've just come up to the house to um, make a cup of tea, feed the dogs. So, the dogs are fed, uploaded them a video. So, if you want to watch yesterday's video, it's up now. But I'm sure you'll have um, seen it already if you're watching me. Oh my word, it is hot when you come up. It is hot. Closed all the windows in the house. What's going on there? Um, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just come and show you some knitting. Um, right, oh, the kettle's blooming boiling. It's not the way you wait for ages and then you think, all right, I'll just do something else while it's boiling. <laughs> right, give me one second. And just like that, magic, I'm back, made the tea. Oh, right, so I show you oh, progress on the sock. <laughs> oh, do you ever do that? Do you ever knit something not realise that you've made a mistake and just carry on knitting and then you end up having to take loads of things back oh, so yeah that's where I am now mm. so if I can get um, a, I don't know what's it called a thumbnail I don't know a nice thumbnail that would be difficult wouldn't it yeah look at my sock YouTube mm. <laughs> yes so that's that's where I am so I'm about halfway, I think. That looks a bit short though, maybe I'm not. So I think I'll probably 
work on that tonight. My brain's a bit more, well, yeah, <laughs> if I can say that. You know what I'm like. Um, my brain's a bit more with it today, I don't know. So, and then, and then, I'll show you something that I've been working on. I showed you a pattern by Isabel Kramer, my first Isabel Kramer pattern. So I'm in the league with the big knitters. <laughs> um, but I haven't got the pattern with me. It's the slip, slip, stitch shawl, I think. So I'll find the find the shawl. This is how much I've done. And I've knit, I'm knitting it out of Sublime. And this is in my stash. My one pound balls that I got in a retirement closing down sale. So that's what I've, what I've made. How beautiful is that? That is really lovely. Now let's see, can I pose? No, that's not good, is it? Hold on a minute. Yeah, I'll probably get that bit without sticking up. Ta da No, yeah. Let's see. All joking aside though, I love that texture. And then what I do, when I'm, um, yeah, excuse me. When I'm desperate to um, cast on, I'll cast something on and then I might, um, I don't know, allot myself a time, like half an hour or an hour, just to try and curb that feeling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then I'll put like a stitch marker in. So I can tell by this that I've worked on this four times. So obviously I started it and there's one there. And then I've done a bit more. There's two. And then a bit more. And then I've obviously done, I don't know, a few rows there. Now, this is where I'm not very experienced in. That it said, was it light fingering? Now I have no idea what that means. Um, but I've evidently been, well, somebody has like left me a message and thank you very much. Um, and said that it's perhaps sport. But then she's gone further down the pattern, she said. And it's four ply. So I don't know. I know that it's going to be, if I knit it in DK then, I thought even if the yarn isn't exactly the same, it'll, either, it'll come out bigger. I thought sport was between DK and Aaron, but I could be wrong. I'm off, I often am. Um, yeah, I think there's still a bit of stretch in it, a bit of a heavy, heavier shawl. But I'm happy. I'm happy that I am doing this. So yes, I'll come back, whether it be today or not, and show you the pattern. It might be tomorrow that I'll dig it out. I don't know if I can find it or not, where I can um, remember where I've left something. I've lost my glasses again, my reading glasses, so I'm back on my old ones. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? Right, I promised Mr. Jack's a cup of tea, and he's doing great guns down there. It's going to take him a lot longer than a day, so I'm going to take him um, his cup of tea down. So I'll come back and speak to you later. Right, I don't know whether you can see that. That's a hedgehog. Where's Barney? Barney's laying there. He hasn't spotted it. Um, nice. And Bronte and Max are here. Where are the other two? It's, hmm. it's Bailey we've got to watch. He's the hedgehog hunter. So, I can't believe it's there. Um, and tell them right towny. Um, right, so what do I do to rescue a hedgehog? I'm not picking him up. Um, perhaps I'll get a pot. Right, just bear with me, I'll get a pot. Right, my plan is to get a pot, got one, and see if I can put it over that, and then that's me done. Um, it's over to Mr. Jack's. Let's <laughs> see what he can do. Oh my god, I just cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I don't think you'll be able to see it from here. It's there and it's literally just above there on the lawn. Right, I'm going over. Right, he's under the pot. He's under the pot. Barney's over there, and I don't know where Bailey is, so I'm going to go find Bailey.
Mr Jack's is, um, yeah, put him over next door's fence so hopefully he won't come back. Oh my word. Oh that's, yeah, so we've rescued him. I just can't believe the dogs didn't see him. Well lucky, lucky the dogs didn't see him. Oh, had a lovely uh, few hours in the greenhouse. Yes, it's all, oh my, greenhouse pot, this is a potting shed I think. You can tell I'm not a gardener. I've doubled um, with some small success, but nothing like this. When we moved here, this is what I wanted to do, to have you know room to have a vegetable plot. So as you can hear, Mr. Jacks is still working hard, bless him. I'm really, really proud of him. He's just doing this. I think he's, yeah. My kid with a toy's got his machinery and that's it. Um, so I'll show you the potting shed and then I'll show you where the dogs are. I think the dogs are absolutely exhausted. <laughs> they've been out. They've, we've been out. They've had their lunch and we've come back down. Yeah, I had our adventure with the hedgehog and I'll go and check him in and make sure that he hasn't come back. <laughs> right, let me show you my work. So, ta da! Oh, it's a lot more organised. I've had everything out. I've had a good sweep in here. Yep, I know where everything is now. So I'm ready to um, yeah, pot up some more seeds. Really happy, really happy. So that's Bailey, he's the hedgehog hunter but hasn't seen it, seen the hedgehog. So he's tired. Yeah, Bronte's like, oh, where's the arga? Where's the arga? But they're enjoying sniffing and walking about. I don't know where the two black and white ones are. They're the two that are trouble. And Barney is still sunbathing. Us. And then Bob is here. He's found that he can um, look out onto the road. He thinks that's a good, um, you know, like vantage vantage point. Oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Do you want to go and see uh, what Mr. Jackson's doing? I'll go and. Um, yeah, make sure he's okay, doesn't need a drink. I just gave him one, so he should be all right. Oh, he's done a vast area. Lovely. Oh my word, it looks huge, absolutely huge. I'm going, yeah, bigger, bigger. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the first part that we've been done. Well, now we've got all the commuter traffic, it's like a like, um, cut through on our lane um, and farm machinery. Yeah, there are lots of farm machinery. Right, I think I'm going to pack up and go up to the house now and um, get that dog in, that Bobby. You right there, Barney? You ready to go up, are you? Hey? You ready to go up and go and have a sleep in your basket? Look at you, hey? You had your head down a hole. You have, haven't you? Hey? Have a nice day. Yeah, you have, haven't you? Hello, hello. <laughs> Just come on to um, finish off the vlog for today. So I've just been um, uploading and editing. So there's a little bit of shaky camera work down there, so I hope you'll uh, forgive me. And while I've been doing that, I've been working on my hamster blanket, or my bunny blanket rather. Ta-da. It's getting too big now 
to show on screen. I must admit, this has been. Yeah, shall I stand up a bit? Mm. Get my shelf out. <laughs> yeah. This has been my little hid hidden gem. Um, working on this <laughs> while I've been do doing my uh, vlogs. <laughs> so, yeah, idle hands and everything. So, I was going to measure it to give you an idea. So, and I'm an inches girl. Let have a look. So it's just over 26 and a half inches. Um, wide. Yeah, if I'm going to have my rectangle, if you imagine it laying down. And then it is about 23 and a half um, deep. And I must admit, I, yeah, I really, really like this. Um, so I think it's a bit of a hidden hidden gem. I think it'd make an excellent blanket for you know a little one to go in their pram, um, to go in their cots, just them to be on the couch and everything. So yes, I'm really pleased how that is. So I've got a couple other things I thought I might just share with you. Okay, if I do a proper unboxing of my um, top box that's arrived of the Queen of Her Majesty. Um, so I've got one of these patches that's really, really famous um, you know, from, from the top. It's quite a collect, collector's, uh, collect, I don't know what to say, a collector's, yeah, I don't know, um, trend. Is it a trend? Oh, look at those. Aren't they cute? So that's Oh, discovery boxes, that's that, that's an advertisement. And then this is a little um, rosette that you can actually make. So that'd be really nice to make that with some scrap. This is the new doll that is out. Um, Mary Curie. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. It's a crochet scarf. Is that a pattern? Is that a pattern? Yep, so that's a free, that's a free pattern that comes in as well. Their photography is amazing. Look at that, a little snail. And this little pattern there. Yeah, that's really lovely. Oh, and this is beautiful. I wish I could be as uh, good with my, my photography as that. Look at that. And that's for the headband. Perhaps I should make that for Ruth. Ruth Lost Yellow. Or Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful. So let's remove Her Majesty. <laughs> as gently as possible now let's just see what loveliness is in the bag <gasps> ready for more show you a look at that red beautiful it's like a cream off white off white I think the proper term terminology is um, black and a grey, the wool is so soft. Yeah, beautiful grey, like silver. I think the colours are supposed to be, um, what well, it's be silver and um, pur purple for her 70th, it's another red. That's a, like an oatmeal colour. I'll show you properly in a minute. <gasps> another one. So this would be for a body. Well, it looks, sounds if I know what I'm talking about. Oh, and that's for Her Majesty. Oh, so isn't that bag just beautiful? Yeah, I'll treasure that. And then there's a little, little bag. You bear the excitement. Oh wow, right, okay, beads. <laughs> Look at those jewels. Wow. That's 
obviously going onto her gown. And there's no... Right, there's no instruction, no pattern. That's really weird. Normally it does come with something. I know I'll have to download a pattern, perhaps that's what it is. That's really weird. Okay. Right, I'll just look. put this all on the table and you can see. So that is all the loveliness. And if I want to make that, then I need to finish my other toft. Um, so let me just get that out. Anybody that is new to the channel, and I know there's been quite a few new subscribers, so thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for keeping me company. I am making Emmeline Pankhurst, um, who was a leader of the suffragettes in England, in the UK. This is as far as I have got. I've got a body. Let's head back. This is a front. Should I? Well, that's what it looks like in the box. I'll turn you around. Sorry about that. I was all cockeyed. <laughs> so, this is Emmeline Pankhurst. Hey. This is her body, which I have made. Yeah, so there she is, that's her body. Right, and I've done her legs. Ta -da. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> too much sun, too much sun on my head. <laughs> so the next thing is to do her arms. So that's what I need to do. And I don't know why, I just said I've got a couple of things to show you because that's all all I've got to show you, but I think what I meant in my head was that I'm planning to work on a sock and work on the arms and then you have to do the hands. I don't know whether they're separately, separately, I can't talk properly, um, but I think I'll, I'll, my challenge for tonight is do the arms and then I can do the hands tomorrow and there is an advanced hand, what was it called, an advanced hand and a simple hand? So maybe I might even go go ahead and do that. So I've got the legs. Oh, there's a basic hand and an advanced hand. So I'll leave my decision <laughs> until I've read that part. In the pattern, we'll see how we go. So with that, my lovelies, I'm going to leave you. Um, I hope you have a really nice Friday evening. I kind of forgotten it was Friday. Um, I think it's because I wasn't well on Monday. I've sort of, and not having Benjamin, my week hasn't gone along as it would normally. But on that note, I'll leave you and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, bye.